Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I am Vormithrax, firing up a brand new challenge. We're going to try something a little different. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully it's hard. Hopefully I die horribly trying to get it done. We'll see. I think this one's going to be kind of tough for a few reasons. Um, <laughs> what, I got a whole bunch of virgins all showing up today? Jeez. It's not like I don't stream once or twice a week, usually. <laughs> Welcome everybody and everybody that's catching their first live stream of Vormithrax dying horribly in the Cataclysm. Um, yeah, so this particular challenge I am calling Grand Theft Apocalypse or GTA. I'm going to play the last gig scenario as a sleep challenged bionic thief who's decided to fulfill the last larcenous contract he received before the world ended. Uh, my job is to find, fix, steal 10 different vehicles and deliver them to a showroom. The showroom I'm going to find and build slash modify myself. I've got a couple of ideas. We'll see what uh, opportunities present themselves. And the list of vehicles is the Humvee, luxury RV, sports car, bubble car, ice cream truck, atomic mini tank, golf cart, road roller, and then the ever elusive Wiener Mobile and my personal bugaboo, the Bandit Bulldozer. <laughs> I've had the Bandit Bulldozer on my wish list to get up and running and actually drive one for a really long time. I've mentioned it a bunch of times on my playthroughs when I occasionally spot one of those rare buggers, and I have just never, ever actually been able to get into a running one, no matter what I've tried. So, we're going to try to focus this time. So the big challenge is obviously going to be to stay alive. Uh, secondly, find some place I can use as a showroom. My initial idea is to use that big center space inside of a mansion that sometimes it's a dance floor, sometimes it's a basketball court. There's a few variations, but there's one really big room in the uh, mansion designs that can occur. So I'm thinking of uh, either doing a quick way of smashing through and making an entryway and or doing the construction deconstruction method to uh, figure out a way of getting my vehicles inside that little space there and get them all set up as a little showroom. Uh, I do not intend to actually fix them all up into pristine condition. That would be just really boring and long. As long as I can get the damn vehicles in there and so they can be looked at, <laughs> that's all I care about. Um, so that's my first idea, but we're going to have to see what the Cataclysm RNG map gods throw my way as an opportunity. Uh, I can't think of too many other buildings that might have rooms big enough to hold that many vehicles of those different types. Um, but the two vehicles are going to be really, really hard, and I'm not 100% sure I'll ever find are the Wienermobile and the Bandit Bulldozer. Those two things are really, really hard to come across. So we'll see. Um, so for the other difficulty factor, you can see on the screen there, I'm going to be running with a big old pile of problematic sleep traits. So we are narcoleptic, we are an insomniac, sleepy, sleepy and heavy sleeper, as well as an asthmatic. And uh, for positive traits, all I took was light step, pretty and skilled liar. So the pretty and skilled liar might tip you off that I do have NPCs turned on for this run. So I'm going to try to course, aid, help, impound, whatever, uh, NPCs to help me out. So hopefully I can get a few of them and bootstrap some of my skills up really quickly. Um, so the world settings I've got, I am up to date with the most recent experimental. I'm 8554, city size 8, city spacing 6, zombie spawn doubled as is my normal nowadays. I did bump up the item spawn slightly. So instead of 0 0.5, which has been my norm recently, I've bumped it up to 0.75. Just to cut down a little bit on the tedium factor, I think might be involved in this run. Evolution, I've doubled to 2.0. <clears throat> Wander spawns on, of course. Um, that start time is actually wrong. I didn't update that. Uh, it should be 8 o'clock like normal. Uh, oh, crap, didn't update either one of those. One second, let me go fix my bot. Do, do, do. Two things I did not fix. All right, so we're not doing a summer start, and we're not doing a 2200. Uh, so, do, do. All right, starting season spring, and start time is 8. Actually, I don't even need those since I'm not changing them from the default. We'll just get rid of them. Uh, 
All right, all fixed. Okay, uh, so I did turn on NPCs. I also dialed them up, so they're at 1.0, um, which is 10 times the default value. But even with 1.0, we're not going to see a whole lot of them. But hopefully we get enough, and we got random NPCs on as well. I've also turned on Z-Levels. I do want to test out the Z-Level hauling feature, see if uh, Z-Levels annoy me still more than I think I get benefit out of them. Um, so we'll test that. And that's about it, really. For the mods, I did change my mod list slightly. I took out uh, the additional location stuff. There's two mods that go with that. Um, I dropped those. I think most of that kind of stuff's been folded in, and I want to make sure the map gen has uh, got plenty of space for special buildings and such. So hopefully that uh, occurs. We'll see. Other than that, we're pretty much all set. So you can see on the character screen, two of the main things for difficulty is going to happen here. One... That sleep stuff. <laughs> so, narcoleptic. Yeah, that's interesting how that works. Uh, I don't know if it's broke or what, but um, yeah, you'll see what I mean here when it fires off. Uh, but I wanted to get a good run in with all of these negative sleep traits just to see what would happen, how I would have to adjust my playstyle behavior, and so on. Uh, and notice I do not have anything really in the way of combat skills. So I don't have any dodge, I don't have any unarmed, any melee, I don't have any martial arts of any kind. So this guy cannot really fight for nothing. Uh, his stats are all kind of mediocre. So he's mostly going to be doing the avoid combat kind of thing until we can manage to get some th stuff taken care of. So... We'll see. Um, the only thing it doesn't show on there is I do have night vision, and it's not showing up on this screen. It'll show on the character screen when we get into the main game. That's it. That's the only thing I took to really help me out in that regard. So we do have the Perception 9 and night vision, which is uh, something I really like to take. Uh, but no fast movement, no uh, none of that stuff, no parkour, um, no special martial arts paired with a starting weapon for that kind of, uh, instant start massive kill sprees. So we'll see what happens, but this is going to be pretty different from a lot of my other runs. Um, so we'll see, but, uh, welcome, welcome everybody. Oh, luxury RV is not rare. <laughs> that one's going to be one of the easy ones. The only two that I'm going to have a problem finding is those last two, the Wienermobile and the, uh, Bandit Bulldozer. Those two, I think we're going to have to do some traveling. So, but the difficulty is I've got to find the vehicles. I've got to... Hopefully they're running and I can just hop in them and drive off, but most of them are probably not going to be in that condition. So I'm going to have to find them, get them repaired, then relocate them. Uh, the golf cart is the one I'm looking forward to the most. How to, how to relocate over a long distance the golf cart. That's going to be a challenge because the battery in that thing is not going to last very long. So I'm probably going to have to show up with extra full storage batteries, install those into the golf cart, then start trundling my way back to wherever my showroom is. So hopefully we don't have to travel too far, because uh, long-range golf cart travel is probably going to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so no combat abilities to speak of, no special traits in that regard. Uh, I took Skilled Liar and Pretty as just part of the, uh, the uh, Charismatic Thief kind of concept, um, and we're going to roll with it. So we do have Computers 4, Electronics 4, and Mechanics 4. I spent a lot of points. A lot of points to put those in, because uh, they didn't start with it. The Bionic Thief does not start with those things. Um, all he got was the marksmanship and the submachine gun. I think he might have had one point in one of those. No, I don't think he did. I think I spent all the points for all four, three of those. Uh, computers, electronics, mechanics. So uh, he's a specialist car thief, and uh, we're going to see what we can do with him. So... Let's go ahead and get things started. Now, one thing I did have to pick was my starting location. So I'm going to pick the pawn shop. Um, house, I can get to housing usually, depending on the city arrangement, of course. Uh, but with 6-8 for city spacing and size and all that, it'll be eh, pretty easy for me with the new residential uh, ratios that they've got to get to houses. So I don't see starting in a house to be too beneficial. It is going to be daytime, so it's going to be the normal five-minute scramble. The first five minutes, I'm either going to be dead or we're going to get to some degree of safety. Uh, but Pawn Shop, I think, has got the best chance for me to have something that's going to be immediately useful to me. Gun Store, eh, I, I don't generally use the guns early game because uh, they're more trouble than they're going to be beneficial. Uh, the Bank, I don't have a stethoscope to crack the safes for, with this particular character. The uh, Bionic Thief doesn't start with one. And Gas Station, not really much benefit to going there. So it's really just down to the house and the pawn shop. And like I said, I can get to houses without too much difficulty. So we're going to do the pawn shop start. 
hope that we got something on the shelves that's going to be immediately useful for us. And uh, we'll see what our starting NPC looks like. Then we'll kind of go from there. So, boost the speaking skill? Nah, I won't need it. With pretty and skilled liar, I don't think I'm going to have a problem. Um, plus, I, I had to spend so many points to get computers, electronics, mechanics to where they are. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't afford much else. So trying to worm in even a few points of speaking skill. I don't think is going to help me enough to be worth doing. All right, so there we go, and we've got a necromancer on the screen. That's always a good thing to start with, I guess. Um, are we like standing on the starting NPC? I see axes. I see a cutlass or a scimitar, uh, a German hat, all sorts of stuff. All right, you're on your way to another routine job. Might have been a target to kill, an item to steal or intel to gather, or whatever it was. And it cuts off the text. There it is. That doesn't... Oh, I start infected? Really? This start starts infected? Did I not notice that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Save and quit. Hmm. New game. Custom character. How did I not notice it starts infected? So the scenario is last gig. Yeah, it does start infected. All right, I didn't notice. Well, that's going to suck. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, it didn't occur to me. That must be why it costs so many points, or it gains you so many points. Now, that answers my question there. It's been a while since I did last gig. I, I wasn't expecting the infected. Uh, that's going to change things quite a bit. Ugh. For a character that can't fight and we're in the daylight hours, that's going to be... And with no movement abilities, I... Uh... Hmm. Well, we'll give it a try. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the infected starts anymore after the healing changes. The possibility that you can ingest antibiotics in the first five minutes and still be alive four days later, but not able to actually do anything because of all of the stacked on negative effects and then die of the infection anyway just bothers me. So... <laughs> We'll roll with it. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I wasn't in fact expecting the infection. Uh, all right, let's step off of here. So I'm not sure where our starting NPC went. I don't know if he's in the building or if he's on the outside of the wall currently getting killed by something. Uh, Raquel McMahon. Yeah. All right, I guess Raquel McMahon started on the outside of the wall and is out there fighting things currently. All right, well, there's our city. There's Pittston. Good-sized city. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, Territory-wise, we do have housing I can get to just by running across the street. Then we can immediately dive into that. we got a bookstore over here in the middle of the housing area. Got a campsite. Uh, anything with fungal? <laughs> no fungal in sight. Um, yeah, it's kind of a rough setup in that there's not too many really isolated houses. Like that one there is the closest I can get. Uh, is that a, yep, that's a construction site. That might be one we head towards pretty early. See if we can get a lucky early excavator that we can drive around in. What else is nearby? We've got a mill surplus right diagonal from us here. BFW. Not too much of interest here. We've got the garage down south, gun store, sporting goods would actually be a good one for us to hit as well. Hmm. So we got two garages to the south. Damn it! It's open for a museum, and once again, it's a music venue. How about this one over here? That's a museum. All right, so we do have at least one museum. Hmm. Three garages down to the south is actually a pretty good chance. All right. Well, we'll just kind of adjust as we move. Um, as always, with the infected start, I've got to focus 100% on getting the antibiotics into me. So anything else I was planning to do early game is pretty much out the window. What do we got nearby, though? A pickle hub. The battle axe. Is it real? Is it not real? It is... Nope, not real. <laughs> or it's, it's a fabric... 
Uh, notice the axe heads aren't seated properly at all. Yeah, not good. How about the scimitar? Nope, another replica. So, unfortunately, both uh, both weapons that we found are replicas. I might grab that scimitar anyway. I mean, I don't have anything currently, so 16 to 24 for 138. I parry. Um, I'd probably take the scimitar. Welding goggles, boots, leather jacket. So here's our starting gear, by the way. Actually, let's look at the character sheet. Oh, there's the character sheet. Uh, so we're infected, so we're already down some points. Um, there's the night vision that wasn't showing up on the other screen for whatever reason. So asthmatic, heavy sleeper, insomniac, narcoleptic, and sleepy with trigger happy thrown in if I ever try to use my machine pistol or my machine gun. All right. There's our starting gear. So we do have a briefcase of machine gun. We've got 50 total rounds of 9 mil ammo for it. Again, I rarely use the guns early game. Um, and not much else. I mean, just basic clothing. Excuse me, and a waistcoat. Um, cell phone in my inhaler. So we've got 4.75 liters of volume. If I throw the waistcoat, let's see. 1.5 storage. Yeah, I'll probably have to throw the leather jacket on as well. All right, well, let's get moving. Hopefully we're far enough back that nobody hears me smash that. Put that on my noggin. Now we're styling. Oh, there's a buckler here too, huh? Uh, I can't do much with that at the moment. So, strapped. Hmm. Sure. Let's let's grab that. I don't have a free hand for the buckler. That because of the briefcase of machine gun. Yeah, must be that left hand briefcase of machine gun. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. And that's all right. Already fun stuff going on. These guys can't see me. They're just wandering around at random. All right, grab the scimitar, wield the scimitar, even though it's a replica. I am at 2.34 out of 5.75. See a fire truck right outside. Oh, what do we got here? Light tank. Light tank's not on my list, um, but could be fun if it's a working light tank right early on. There's the fire truck, fire engine. It's going to have gear here and here. Uh, mostly clothing, but uh, I might be able to get the firefighter belt for use later. Um, fading do I want to grab the goggles? I don't think I'm going to have a problem finding goggles, and it's going to be a while before I'm able to put them to use. i got to figure out a way of leveraging my skills, my computer electronics mechanics. i got to figure out how I can best put that to use to keep me alive um, for this kind of a challenge. They should give me the ability to hotwire fairly effectively as soon as I get a screwdriver. Um modify vehicles and all that stuff right out of the gate and or even hack some computer stuff. Oh, by the way, so this guy has these abilities. He is the bionic thief. He's got the battery system, which is how I get power for my bionics, eating batteries, and then the finger pick. He's also got a finger hack and a, the internal storage space, which is giving me some of that volume I've got available. 
So the finger pick, if you're not familiar, one of your fingers has an electronic lock pick surgically embedded in it. Automatic system will quickly unlock all but the most advanced key locks without any skill required on the part of the user. Yay, but it is it does take uh, power points to use, 25 per activation. And then the finger hack, one of your fingers has an electro hack surgically embedded, an all-purpose hacking unit used to override control panels and the like, but not computers. Killing computers is important, and a failed use may damage your circuits. Good times. So I gotta figure out where I can go to best utilize these things early game. Uh, leveraging that's gonna be my only advantage given that uh, I'm infected and I have no combat skills. So I think I'm gonna leave the, the goggles. Um, so we know about that vehicle. Once we get on the street, we'll take a look around, see where we're gonna go. There's the house across the way that I'm gonna dive into probably as quickly as possible. I know I saw, what, a Necro and a Spitter out here, so... There's the Necro inside again. Ah, we are out. So, you can see the line of inventory items inside that fire truck right there. What are the chances this thing works? Everything's in workable shape. Alternator and engine, I think it's got the batteries elsewhere. can't remember on these things. I want to say the batteries are in a different location. Would be wrong. There might not be a battery in there. Um, but it's not looking too bad otherwise. Hmm. Tank has treads. Go ahead and scoot next to the tank. See if it's working. Ah, it's got a decent amount of diesel, got all faulty engines. <laughs> um, with that many faulty engines, chances of getting in that and getting it started are probably pretty minor. Starter motor, fuel filter, air filter, and starter motor. Um, two of them I could probably get running. Still a little questionable whether I could get that thing moving. Down two engines. Fuel filter and the air filter just reduce performance but you'd still be able to drive them with those. So you just turn off the other two engines, give it a go. I don't think I can take the chance though. If I climb into this thing, I may never be able to climb back out again if I can't get it started. So it would end up being a death sentence. So much as I would love to, I can't afford to try that. Why, well, thank you very much, Mr. Zombie. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> Although the fact that he missed me and I'm standing right in the uh, little safe area right there in the middle is pretty interesting but uh, yeah that's not cool shock zombie spitter zombie and a whole crap load of other zombies just tearing that vehicle apart huh all right not a problem i'm not going to try to clamber into this i might if i think i have time i might peek into the back when i come around this far side we're obviously going down this way now that he's fired and missed me we should be pretty clear to get back behind this to block pursuit until we get into that house. But it's all going to be a crapshoot. I mean, I got to immediately find some uh, antibiotics or it's all a moot point anyway. I'm trying to do it on this character with no movement benefits and so on. Wow, only two slots? Really? Inventory, sort by category, show me all. There's the belt I was talking about. And then boots and a coat that don't fit. Um, I definitely want the belt. And I think I'm going to have to bail after that. Alright, so I've also got a subway I could dive into. I think I'm just going to aim directly down this way and then pop into that house. So we're going to try to go house, house, house. Uh, well, well, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to plan too far ahead right now. Step one, just survive getting into this house. Oh, you're being mean. It's being mean to me. Oh, you so funny, Cataclysm. Um, 
I saw the noise indicator. And again, I just figured, eh, it's probably just a regular zombie. What are the chances? Ah, crap. Well, that really roughs up that maneuver. All right, let's go back the other way. Hope he doesn't spit before I get around the corner here. Ah, he's not... He didn't follow me. I expected him to follow me up this way, and I was going to just kind of run around this little section here. That's not cool. Here comes the spit. Where is it? Oh, he, he didn't do it yet. Ah, there's no back door. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not quite far enough yet either. Yeah, yeah. Nice shot, zombie. Jeez, regular zombie hit me and uh, ripped my pants, my boxer shorts. Good job. Now we're going to try to get over to that place. Uh-oh, we got a park next door. That spitter zombie had better have moved across. I think he's still sitting right here, which is going to annoy the hell out of me when I come up around this corner and then he spits. No, looks like we managed it. All right. And, of course, we get the Scott's Book of Cookery. Oh, salad. Give me a salad. Give me a pot. I can't stop for any of that. I want I want the oatmeals, but I got no carry space. Almost no carry space left. I have to bypass it. Oh, trench coat. Golf cap, trench coat. That would be a third jacket I would be wearing. <laughs> but that's six of volume. It's all about avoiding combat in this early, early part anyway. That's one going to be up there that I care about. Most of the zombies have lost track of me because I'm now back in the shadows. So they're, they're following my scent trail slowly. Well, that's waiting for me. Vacuum sealer and a zombie. Bandages. I really need to check that bathtub to see if there's any items in it. Um. Well, there's bleach. Nothing else. Uh, not gonna take the vacuum sealer. Okay, so we got a vehicle straight out the way. Something out there is making noise. That house right there is the next one I'm going to try to get into. Um, that's wreckage up there. Uh-oh. I, I just need a screwdriver. 14.4 liters of gas, enough battery charge to get started. It's got wheels, everything here is looking good. Oops, engines. Ah, crap. Never mind. Good right up until that part. All right, let's just go hit the house. Zombie snapper. All right, gotta stop running. Come on, bathrooms. I need antibiotics right now. No, leave all that. Alright, where are we going to try to move next? We're going to try to move directly west. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, Fell Runner. Fell Runner is going to make my life a little difficult. What are we wearing for shoes? Dress shoes? I don't like dress shoes. Poor fit. So, I either have to run back north, back out the way I came in, hope not too many things were following me, or face the Fell Runner and whatever else is out here. I think I'm better off taking a few hits and facing the Feral Runner.
house is terrible. Doesn't have any real bathrooms. Necromancer is the only thing I can see. That's kind of funny. All right. Well, so we've done that one. We've done that one. We started in the pawn shop. I still don't have much in the way of uh, carry space, so I'm trying to decide, do I keep rolling through the housing areas? Let's take another look here. I'm debating drumping, dumping the briefcase submachine machine gun. I just won't use it. My chances that I'm actually going to fire that thing are so small. I've got six liters of space still. Right, I won't dump it yet. Um, where are we going to go from here, though? Got a... Oop, we got an ambulance. Alright, we got to go that way. Ambulance is going to be one of the big, big, big priorities. So, check that ambulance in the house if we can get to it. Another fire engine down there. Alright, let's just go out the front door. The worst that could happen. Go stand in the middle of the road. I right, don't care about those vehicles. Hopefully the kitty cat's going to distract those zombies. Go chase the kitty cat. Stay away from me. There you go, feral runner. Good job. Oh, oh. I don't like that. I see an electricity sparkle. Ugh, dang it. I need to get into this ambulance. Without. Oh, it's a shocker brute. <laughs> uh, shocker brute going after a fox, huh? Alright, let's run. Damn it! No items! I increase the item spawn rate in my world and I get nothing in the, the ambulances. That's kind of hilarious. Alright, run Fox, run! Keep that Shocker Brute occupied. I think... Not sure I can afford to check into this house. Oh, first aid kit. That doesn't solve my problem. It's nice, but it, uh, whoops, I actually don't think I need popcorn mechanics, but it uh, doesn't actually, look, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I swear. I swear. That's funny. <laughs> Two first aid kits and two bathrooms in the same house. Um, I'm really going to need to start dumping some stuff out of those first aid kits. Is there a third bathroom with some antibiotics? That sure would be nice. One more. Already got my pot. Grab one bottle of frozen. And the seeds. Alright, we gotta get out of here. So, which way are we gonna go? I don't wanna go to the landfill or the cemetery. We'll call this one done. Don't wanna go east into the commercial district. I think I need to go diagonally across the street and get up to this housing area. Check out that bookstore and then see if I can find a place to uh, rest and uh, get some stuff crafted real fast. Let's see. Just getting my stamina back before I maneuver. Hey, shady zombies. Uh, 
Alright. Looking not too bad. I think I just caught the attention of the zombies to my west there. Yeah, they're coming for me. Another cookbook. I'd love to scoop all you guys up. Just can't afford to do it. Really? Something blinded me instantly. Oh, no! I, my narcolepsy just kicked in. <laughs> so, this is the narcolepsy. You're suddenly overcome with the urge to sleep and you pass out. You lie down to go to sleep. But I can still move. That's what I don't understand. See? I can still actually maneuver. And this is going to last a while, which is obviously a problem. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of a weird the way this narcolepsy works. Um, how to deal with this. Hmm. Hoping to get into a bathroom or something. So I won't know what I'm moving into, unfortunately. Whoops, there's another ambulance up north. All right, well, we're going to have to make that a focus now. I think what I'll do is... See, I won't be able to see a single thing while I have this going on. Not doors, not windows, nothing. So what I can see for my map memory is all I'm going to know about. Um, I'm tempted to go... Eh, I better not go put myself in a vehicle. Sure is tempting, though. Now, let's let's try to move up into this building up here. Yeah, it's a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we're going to wait right here for a bit. From the south, you hear, wunk. Come on, narcolepsy, something's following me in. I'll start hitting the bath. Well, that's interesting. Vehicle cash part. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, they're coming through the door now. Hmm. Try to maneuver blind. <laughs> or fight. Be a little zombie. Might be worth just fighting. Not sure how you fight while blind slash in narcoleptic sleep. Can't let uh, pa time pass any. F Ooh, that was the first first portion of the door down. All right, now I think the whole door is down. Yep, Cade Zombie stabbed him for twenty five. He grabbed me successfully. Oh, another door to my north. All right. Ah, ha, ha. Well, there you go. We successfully survived our first narcoleptic uh, episode. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that mechanic. That seems weird. Toaster pastries. We gotta take those. Um, now that I can... Ah, of course it is. No longer just the decayed. Now I'm gonna get blinded and boomer biled. Crabity crab crap. I don't think I'm gonna worry over much about that kind of stuff. Uh, now I have the joy of trying to outrun ferals to get to that ambulance. Don't see any other ambulances. Did 
be able to run him right into the side of the ambulance while I check it out. Go out the other side. Back to walk mode. At least we got items this time. What do we got? Disinfectant, tramadol, and a third first aid kit. <laughs> Come on, game. Now you're messing with me. Um, yeah. Hmm. I, uh, I don't know. I've already got two first aid kits. That means I have two bottles of disinfectant, which is 20 bites that I can uh, disinfect. do this. Let's get the firefighter belt on to free up a little space. Um, yeah, we gotta keep everything else. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna end up dropping that stuff, though. Alright. Uh, actually, I should have checked if it was working. Uh-oh. This might be drivable. How you looking, engine? Multi water pump. Well, that's uh, that's still drivable. If I can get it started, and that battery and alternator are in really rough shape. That thing might just run out of juice almost instantly. Hmm. It's possible it'll drive though. Well, let's. God, this this is gonna suck when it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, didn't work. No battery charge. Out we go. Hey there, hydration pack. Sight, but a pretty piss poor one. All right, so we're here now. I can go here. I was originally going to go these when we had the unfortunate circumstance. I think I am going to aim for. Yeah, maybe I'll do this, this, this. Is that another pawn shop? Ooh, it is another pawn shop. Hmm. I go work my way up that direction. Yeah, let's let's have these guys follow me up. Ooh, wait, wait. What is that? Did I pass up a steak knife? I passed up a steak knife. Alright, well yeah, that's fine. I see you in there, zombie. All right, well, we got stairs down. Pot basement. I don't care about a pot basement. Yeah, I kind of minorly care. Nothing else is a place to run to. All right, clear pot basement. Um... Go up and left next. Nope. Ah, load. Oh, that's right. No, no pro, no pro bar. Ugh, pry bar yet. <laughs>
Come on, antibiotics. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Hmm. Not ideal either. Hey there, aminals. Still no pry bar to get in the back of the uh, pawn shop. Necromancer hanging out out here. So many necromancers. I know I've got the uh, evolution dialed up, but I shouldn't be seeing them in this quantity this early. Yeah, this is not good. Thought I'd lost them enough that they were going to chase the animals. I was wrong. More welding goggles. Real this time? No, nope. replica. Damn it. Two welding goggles. Um, I'd have to break my way out of the back door if I went this direction right now. I don't think it's going to open from the outside, or from the inside. Hey, Thorazine. Yeah, not going to open, so I'd have to break it down. Tempted to try to build uh, a couple of items right here, real quick. Ooh, the fox is going to be helpful. Hey there, fox. Give me my crowbar. And give me some lockpicks. I don't need lockpicks. Why the hell am I building lockpicks? Uh, this is not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought was about to happen. Crappity crap! I thought the fox was going to be a little more helpful. Too much. <laughs> I built the crowbar and I'm not going to be able to use it. Or can take it with me without dropping something big. Um. Yeah, it's just habit. <laughs> Blind habit that I'm going to try to make the uh, lockpicks. Plus, it's the easy way to get your fab up to level 1. So... Wouldn't have been a waste, but, uh... Uh... Yeah, and I could have lockpicked my way out of the, uh, the door. Wouldn't have saved me much time, because I was planning on, uh, crafting those in here anyway. So, wouldn't have made much difference. But, now my stamina's low, and I've got stuff coming at me from two directions. This is about to get really bad. There's fast stuff in the main room as well. Hmm. There's going to be more stuff piling in the door. I'm not overly concerned about the crowbar. Easy enough to make elsewhere. Um, if anything, I'm thinking of dumping that submachine gun. I'm just never planning on using the thing. Maybe I'll dump the pot. I'm finding them all over the place anyway. Let's uh, let's get a step on the soldier. Drop the pot. It's gonna be more important currently that I get the crowbar. See if we can. Oh crap! <laughs> There's an iBot out there and a shock zombie playing with it. I can do an iBot. Moderately injured. Yeah. Um... 
Hmm. What to do? What to do? My choices are open this door and hope that the dogs aren't piled up here waiting for me. Or kind of dance around in here until these guys clear the doorway and try to work my way out and around. But I don't know how much else is out here waiting to uh, come in and join the party. He's there. I'm off. Thanks very much for that Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. So yeah, it, uh, the most worrisome thing is my stamina being three bars. I'm already heavy breathing. That's going to escalate really, really quickly. So this is a pretty dangerous spot I've got myself in. I think I'm going to go out front, though. I think that's going to be the less dangerous of the choices. Um, I think this is two different rooms, but I can't remember the pawn shop. I'm pretty sure there's a bathroom here and then maybe a closet. I don't think these connect, but I, I couldn't say 100%. I can't for certain remember the exact arrangement um, of the pawn shop. What'll be funny is when I open this door and a dog immediately steps into that space and I can't even get out into the main room. <laughs> Oh, choices, choices. It's the little, little choices that get you killed. I think I'm going to go out the front. All right, that'll get me just a space or two of time. Yeah, it was two separate rooms. Now they're following me by scent, because I'm they can't see me. So they're going to wander a bit. So I'm actually going to stand here and let them come to me. Oh, that shady zombie can see me, though. But still, I'm going to take my time, let a few rounds go by while I recover my breath. Um, where do I want to go next? Gas station, park, I'm not interested in those over much. Uh, there's a mill surplus up there as well. But I really want, I think, to aim for this construction site. There's a pretty good chance of there being a pristine condition excavator. Plus the tool possibilities. And there's houses there. My worry is, once I get there, I'm starting to run out of maneuvering room. And uh, might get a little dicey. So, next from there, I'd like to get down to here. But that's that's a long way to try to run, right there. Alright. And I need to keep moving in the city. I can't just park anywhere. I've got to get the uh, antibiotics at all costs. So... Uh, for the moment, I'm just debating. I'm thinking of actually moving down this way. Just walking my way down here. They're going to have to come through the tables to get to me. Um, and it's going to confuse them with the scent. That'll get my, my stamina back, and then I'll take off out this way. It's more important that I get my stamina recovered, so... Not always a good idea to just keep running and running and running. That'll get you killed. You only need to be ahead, one space ahead of most of this stuff, and be safe. So, fortunately, that soldier's moving at a pretty good rate. Hey there, fox. All right, I can use that fox for a distraction, too. Um, yeah, let's let's start heading towards the door. We'll let them see me. Ah, the fox is going to run faster than I can take advantage of him. Oh, there's the shock zombie. I'm not sure where the dogs wandered off to, but I'm glad they, they disappeared. Looks like they all ran north. The direction I was about to head. Yeah, there's the whole pack of them up there. Must be chasing an animal. So, houses, house bathrooms, and ambulances are my targets. Um, I gotta hit as many of them as I can as quickly as I can. Uh, the slime pit, eh, sorta. The slimes don't wander all that much away from the pit, so. I don't know how many you would see beyond one or two spaces away from it, usually. Um, I don't mess with the slime pits near cities too often, so I haven't tried using it as a uh, tactical weapon. But my, my problem is not killing zombies. I could care less about the zombies. It's the infection that's going to kill me. And my needing to get rid of the infection that's going to put me in harm's way of so many zombies. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can get them to follow you into the city, but then you've got 
an infinitely expanding blob horde you've got to deal with eventually. So, If you've ever gone into a bank and had blob nearby and you go to pick the locks and when you leave the bank your, your game starts stuttering <laughs> and you look outside and you see 14 quadzillion blobs everywhere, that, that's not a fun thing. Because <clears throat> you let uh, 10 hours go by picking all the safes and uh, they just infinitely expanded across the whole area. Not a good time. Um, I really don't want to move north towards that group. I don't have a choice unless I reverse direction, hit this neighborhood, then try to make the crossing up this way. I've already check the roadways here no ambulances that basketball court's gonna have a lot of zombies up there too and it's a lot of open space it's too dangerous for me to go up that way too much open space too many horde indicators so we're gonna reverse direction we're gonna head back this way oh i got tagged long distance shock good old diagonal shock Eat those stupid things <laughs> Almost always getting tagged by those. Oops, can't go in the door. Hey there, Mr. Ibot. Have the pale ale. 